Hi, in this screencast I will show you Smart Mail. It's part of the Universal Contact Manager, so please log in to UCM with your Google or Google Apps account. Smart Mail allows you to send out personalized emails to your existing contacts base. No more import export hassle to get the contacts into the email marketing tool. Just select the contacts that you want to address in the UCM. Pressing the email button will bring up a dialog where you can choose whether you want to send out mails using Gmail or if you want to fire up Smart Mail to send out your emails. Let's get started by sending out a plain text email using Smart Mail. You can enter subject and body of the email and add a bunch of attachments. Everything should look familiar so far, but on the left hand side you will find all the smart components you've been waiting for. You can manage reusable text snippets, images and files that you may want to add to your mail, and a number of smart components that will allow you to create truly personalized emails. Let's start by adding the given name of the recipient to our greeting. You can specify a number of rendering options, for example an alternative text if the given name is not set on the recipient. Before sending out the email, you can preview how this email will look like for each recipient by pressing on the preview button. On top of the preview panel, you will find a tab for each contact that we've selected. As you can see, the greeting reflects the given name of the selected user. Once you are happy with your email, you can exit the preview and click on the send mail button to actually send out the emails. Let's have a closer look at the text snippets feature. You can store frequently used text snippets and reuse them in your upcoming mailings. This will allow you to quickly assemble emails using predefined text blocks. To store a new text snippet, select the text in your email and click on the Add button in the Snippets section. This will bring up a pop-up dialog where you can specify where this text snippet should appear in the tree. Use the slash in the path to organize your snippets in a folder-like structure. Start typing a word and click on Control Space to get a selection of matching text snippets. Matching folders and snippet names will show up. You can add new text snippets quickly by selecting the text and hitting Control Enter. The dialog will also allow you to review the text snippet before saving it. As we start typing and hit Control Space, both matching snippets will now show up. This way you could also manage different signatures. Now I'd like to show you how to send out a formatted email using Smart Mail. Let's select a bunch of contacts and hit the email button and choose send formatted mail using Smart Mail. When entering the body of the mail, you will now find a lot of text formatting options in the editor. They will allow you to specify the text size, choose fonts, colors, background colors, and so forth. When sending out formatted emails, the preview will show you how these formatted emails will look like. All the features available for the plain text emails will also work for formatted emails. When using rich text emails, the snippets feature will allow you to store text blocks including the layout to be able to assemble newsletters from existing layouts. The images and files section will allow you to upload files from your local machine and embed them into your email. Again, use the slash in the path to organize your uploaded files in a folder-like structure. Click on the file to see the file properties 
and to get a preview if you've uploaded an image. Double clicking on an image will insert the image into the email. If you are an HTML expert and want to fine tune the layout of your mail, you can switch to the HTML tab to edit the source code. Finally, I would like to show you another smart component, conditional text blocks. SmartMail comes with predefined conditions that allow you to send out text blocks only to members of a certain contact group. As we have selected contacts that are members of multiple groups, we can now insert a text block that will only be sent to a subset of contacts, only to contacts that are member of the GWT group. When opening the preview, you can double check how the mail will look like for each of the recipients. Only contacts that are member of the GWT group will see the content of the conditional block. Thank you.